Welcome to this lesson on the bridge quiz. Uh, in this app, we're going to be creating a quiz on bridges, since that's what we're studying for the fourth nine weeks. But it's universal in that you can take the template and change up the questions and make it into any kind of quiz you want. Part one, we're going to be adding the components, and we're going to be creating two variables, an answer list and a question list. As we always do to get started, let's do start a new project. Let's name it bridge quiz. Make sure you type it in all together. And then once it opens up here, you're going to go to screen one. And let's go ahead and change the title so that it reflects the name of our project, Bridge Quiz. And once we have that, we're going to get an image file. And the image will be uh, basically the picture of the different bridges when we ask the questions. We'll have a different picture to reflect whatever the question is. Okay, So we'll have that. And then underneath it, we're going to get a label. And we're going to rename this label question label. And this is going to be where the question comes up. For under text, under properties, you want to change it to question. Underneath that, we're going to add in a horizontal arrangement. So under layout, add in a horizontal arrangement. And then within that horizontal arrangement, we're going to have the la a label and a text box. So we'll add in a label. We'll add in a text box. You just want to drop it on there, okay? So our label, we're going to rename this. And this is going to be our answer prompt label. And it's real important that you guys are naming these correctly um, so that you can identify them when you go to the blocks. So this is our answer prompt label. Under text here, you're going to put enter the letter answer. And then for the text box, this is going to be where the answer is typed in for the quiz. So we're going to rename this component, and it is going to be our answer text. And for the hint, we're going to delete it, and we're going to type in, please enter the correct letter. So that will show up when we run our emulator or our device. Please enter the correct letter. Underneath the horizontal arrangement, we're going to add another label. And we're going to rename it. This is going to be called the right wrong label. Right slash, or right wrong label. And the text. We're going to type in correct slash incorrect. And what we're going to do is when the uh, question is answered, it'll either show correct or incorrect. Underneath that, we'll go back to layout. We'll drop in another horizontal arrangement here. And we're going to add to that a label and a text. I'm sorry, not that. We're going to add in two buttons. There we go. So we're going to rename our first button, and that is going to be the answer button. And the text for the answer button, you want to switch that to the word submit. And then for button two, we're going to rename button two the next button. And the text for that will be next. So our submit button will submit our answer. Our next button will go through the questions.
All right, so once you have those components, we're going to go to the blocks here. And we're going to create two variables. And the first one is going to be called question list. And the second one is going to be called answer list. And this is something new. We're going to be using a call make a list block. So under lists, we're going to use this block here. And you can right click and duplicate. And basically what our list is going to be, for the question list, it'll list all of the different questions. And to add a socket, you left click on this blue block, and then you take the item and you drag it down like that. So let's go ahead, I'm going to have you guys create five, and let's go ahead and do that for this one, five answers as well. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to fill these in with questions and answers. And since our integrated project is about bridges, we are going to make the questions about bridges. You're going to log in to Moodle. Once you get logged in here, you're going to go to Topic 5, Integrated Project for Bridges and Structures. I've got two links for you to use. I'm going to click on this one. This is a list of the longest suspension bridge spans. Okay, so I'm going to do the first one, and then you guys will make up the rest. Okay, there's so you can look through, pick a bridge. You can ask like when it was opened. You could ask the location. You could ask the country that it's in. You could ask how big of a span it is or it has. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pick one here. I'm going to pick the Veranzano Narrows Bridge. And you want to get the text right here. I'm going to put what state does the Verrazano Narrows Bridge, um, what state is the narrow Verrazano Narrows Bridge in? And then for the answer, I'll put A, B, C, or D. And the, the important thing is, like if you capitalize, you don't want, basically when you go to submit your answer, if it's a capital A, it'll mark it right. If it's a lowercase a, it'll mark it wrong. If you put a period after the A, it'll mark it wrong. So it's got to be marked in exactly like that. So we'll do A, B, C, or D. We'll make them capital. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and write out the question, and I'll bring this back up. But what you want to do is you'll fill in a question and an answer and you'll make four of these and then you'll be done with part one. Alright, so I've completed my first question. So basically what you need to do, make it look like this. What state does the Veranzano Narrows Bridge reside in? I put A, New York, B, Texas, C, Hawaii, D, Delaware. Obviously we know the answer is A, so I put A for the answer list, capital A. Okay, so what you want to do at this point, make sure you have these four filled in with questions, these four filled in with answers, and come and get me when you are done, and I will check you off for part one of the bridge quiz.